Above the sky, thousands of meters long Kuhn flew over the city, ignoring missile bombardment. In Australia, a kilometer long python destroyed the city, devouring millions of people and slowly leaving under several nuclear bomb explosions. Entering this dangerous world, Chen Chu, who unexpectedly obtained a salamander clone, felt a bit confused. What can a palm sized hexagonal salamander do? Shooting videos to earn traffic. Go to the creek to catch shrimp. Or. Evolved into a giant beast. A hexagonal salamander, also known as a hexaceratops and possessing infinite evolutionary abilities, gradually evolved towards the mythological and legendary behemoth of destruction. Body length of hundreds of meters, kilometers, tens of thousands of meters under the characteristic of synchronous reinforcement, Chen Chu's body is also becoming stronger, with increasing strength and speed, and even keywords of the novel. Mythical era, I evolved into a star-level giant without pop-ups, mythical era, I evolved into a star-level giant complete collection download, mythical era, I evolved into a star-level giant latest chapter reading. Chapter 1 The Terrifying World You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 1 The Terrifying World On February 19, 2005, a giant beast over 100 meters high, resembling a violent ape, appeared in the suburbs of Dongdu and rushed into the city to wreak havoc. After causing hundreds of thousands of casualties, he was surrounded and attacked by three fleets at the federal base. In the battle, the station troops consumed a million equivalent nuclear bomb, 150 cruise missiles, and 15 fighter jets were damaged. On the morning of June 1, 2005, a giant beast three kilometers long, resembling a whale and a kuan, appeared over Hanching, causing another great panic. Fortunately, this giant beast was not very aggressive and only existed for a short 15 minutes, without causing too much casualties. During this period, the giant beast ignored various federal missile bombings and disappeared. On August 3, 2005, a kilometer-long monster resembling a mythical python appeared in the city of Lar in the Oat Sea and caused extensive destruction. This behemoth incident caused millions of casualties and ultimately ended with the behemoth leaving with minor injuries. In this incident, the military consumed 3 million equivalent nuclear bombs, 320 other missiles, 5 warships, and countless ammunition. At this point, a new era has begun. In the evening of 2055. In the room, a young man sat in front of the computer with a serious expression carefully looking at the mythological era information found on the internet. After a long time, Chen Chu rubbed his forehead with a headache and said, what a dangerous world is this. Memories have been awakened for most of the day. Through sorting out the chaotic memories of this world, Chen Chu discovered that the history, technology, and civilization of this world are very similar to the original world. But everything turned a corner a few decades ago when some mythical creatures descended. With the emergence and disappearance of these giant beasts, the world has undergone changes, and those folk cultivators who disappeared after the emergence of firearms have risen again. After decades of development, some powerful cultivators can withstand missile bombing, sink aircraft carriers with human bodies, tear apart giant beasts, and be formidable and terrifying. In this situation, the practice trend is also rampant in various federal countries when researching more advanced technology and weapons. Of course, these are not enough to give Chin Chu a headache. Time travel rebirth, although it was his first time without experience, he quickly accepted these with adult thinking, even if the world was a bit chaotic. But the problem is thinking of this, Chin Chu turned his head to look at the glass water tank beside him. To be precise, Chen Chu was looking inside at the salamander lying on a stone, white all over, 10 centimeters long, with four limbs and six pink horns. With the development of the economy and the improvement of living standards, the pet market in this world has become increasingly prosperous, with a wide variety of breeds. Not to mention cats and dogs, raising lizards and pythons has become the norm, and even some people like to raise ants and insects. For example, before him, his preferences were different from others. 
He raised an amphibious hexagonal salamander and even made a well-decorated crystal glass cabinet. Of course, these are not the key points. The key is that at this moment, two bodily sensations appeared in Chen Chu's mind. One is sitting on a chair as a human, and the other is lying on the ground with four paws, breathing with the strange sensation of cheeks. However, compared to the effortless control of the human body, that young body made him feel a bit uncoordinated, lying on a stone and afraid to move around. Just like the original single-core processor, when suddenly dealing with dual-core processors, the computing power can't keep up. And suddenly he had an extra body, and Chen Chu was still a bit confused when he was feeling confused. He doesn't know what caused this situation, why did he cross over and be reborn? And if this hexagonal dragon dies, will it have an impact on him? Besides, what is the use of this body smaller than a palm? I'm not even able to take two bites after fattening up. For a moment, Chen Chu sat on the chair and thought a lot, but none of it was of much use. At this moment, a young man with a tiger's head and a tiger's brain pushed open the door and shouted to Chin Chu in front of the computer, Brother, it's time to eat. Oh, here we are. Chin Chu stood up. His identity in this lifetime is that of a high school freshman. Although I am only a freshman in high school, I am already an adult according to the standards of this world. There is a 13-year-old younger brother whose mother is a grassroots manager of a metal smelting company. As for my father, it is said that he passed away early. He passed away normally without any accidents. So there won't be a bloody plot where Chin Chu's father went missing unexpectedly when he was a child, and later he and his younger brother learned the truth and got angry and avenged. Of course, he also lost the possibility that his father, who was actually from a privileged background, left him when he was a child for some special reasons and would come back to recognize him more than ten years later. When Chen Chu arrived at the restaurant downstairs, his younger brother Chen who had already taken the table, and there was a beautiful woman sitting next to her who looked in her forties and had a gentle temperament. Looking at Chen Chu sitting down, Zhang Xiaolan asked with concern, Ah Chu, how are you feeling now? Can you go to school tomorrow? It's already okay. Zhang Xiaolan suddenly breathed a sigh of relief, nodded, and said in a gentle voice, It's okay. You really scared us this time. Unlike his strong and athletic younger brother, Chen Chu has been weak and sickly since childhood. If you catch a slight cold, you will have a fever and a cold. In more severe cases, it may be nephritis or pneumonia. I suddenly had a fever in the middle of last night. When I was discovered in the morning, I had already reached 41 degrees Celsius. I had to go to the clinic and have had my fluid transfused all morning before it finally came down. At that time, Zhang Xiaolan and Chen Hu were both startled, and even the doctors almost thought he couldn't make it through, so they sent him to a large hospital as soon as possible. And the fact is that he really didn't make it through, which led to Chen Chu's awakening of consciousness, but no one except him knew about this. Zhang Xiaolan said with concern, remember to take your medicine after finishing your meal. Well, I know. Also, if you still feel uncomfortable, let's go to the hospital to see. Mmm. To avoid accidents, Chen Chu appeared relatively silent at the dinner table. However, his previous personality was already quite dull and introverted, so neither Zhang Xiaolan nor Chen Hu noticed any abnormalities. After dinner, Chen Chu, who was still sick, was rushed back to his room. Chen Hu went out to play with friends while holding a basketball, while Zhang Xiaolan was cleaning up in the kitchen alone. When he returned upstairs, Chen Chu was still holding a plate of thawed shrimp meat in his hand, which was hexagonal salamander. No, it should be said to be his food. In the fish tank, a 10 centimeter long white salamander looked up, with small black sesame-like eyes staring at the huge clamp slowly falling from TNY. The salamander's vision is very poor, and due to its size, in its perspective, the arms that cross the glass jar, and the clips that are over 20 centimeters long, are all very large. The shrimp meat sandwiched on top is half the size of its head. 
Chin Chu consciously controlled the hexagonal salamander to open its mouth and swallow the shrimp meat in one gulp. The feeling of self-feeding made him a bit uncomfortable, and he couldn't help but instinctively lick his tongue. Well, the taste seems good. The salamander's small white head blinked. Salamanders, despite their small size, have a large appetite and usually consume one dot third of their body's food before stopping. But this time Chin Chu kept picking up torn shrimp meat one by one, and the salamanders being fed kept swallowing it, like an underfed black hole that could only enter but not exit. In just a moment, the hexagonal salamander ate food equivalent to its own volume. In Chen Chu's perception, those foods entered his body and fell down his throat into his stomach, disappearing in the blink of an eye due to his terrible digestive ability. At the same time, as a large amount of food was swallowed, a warm sensation spread throughout the salamander's body, centered around its stomach, followed by itching. My whole body is itching. Chen Chu, who was itching, felt a bit uncomfortable and couldn't help but open his mouth. Quack. The voice of a salamander is like the cry of a child, but very small, so small that it is imperceptible. Immediately after, under Chin Chu's surprised gaze, the size of the hexagonal salamander grew at a visible speed, and its body length also increased to 11 centimeters. One centimeter, which is one centimeter, doesn't look much, but this growth is completed in the blink of an eye. Chen Chu not only did not feel scared about his digestive ability and growth rate, but his eyes lit up. If it were just an ordinary hexagonal salamander, the species limit would be around 30 centimeters, so even if Chen Chu could control it freely, what would happen? What's the use of it? This is a terrifying world where a nuclear bomb explodes everywhere and cultivators can sink aircraft carriers. But now, he seems to see a light called the future suppressing his inner excitement, Chen Chu went downstairs to the refrigerator and took out some shrimp meat to thaw. Feeling that the salamander's body could still eat, he continued to feed it. Soon, the shrimp meat, equivalent to twice the volume of a salamander, bottomed out again. Until then, the salamander's body only felt a faint sense of fullness. At the same time, the feeling of growth reappeared, and a hint of warmth spread throughout the body of the salamander, accompanied by a itching sensation, and its body grew at a visible speed to the naked eye. Then, a row of transparent text appeared before Chin Chu's eyes. P.S. Newcomer's new book, I hope everyone can collect and support it, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Talent You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Talent Your salamander clone gains some evolutionary points by consuming a large amount of food. The property page is being generated. Generation completed. Accompanied by two lines of transparent text, in Chen Chu's astonishment, a transparent page frame appeared before his eyes. Physical Fitness 7, 10 for ordinary people, power. 7 Agility 6 Spirit 10 Talent Soul Splitting Split Body Hexagonal Salamander, an ordinary amphibian, with an adult body length of 30 cm and zero combat power. Level. None talent. None evolution value. One tenth, when the accumulation of evolution values is full, evolution can be activated. Property page. Chen Chu slowly exhaled a breath, suppressing the excitement in his heart. As a semi otaku who used to enjoy reading novels, anime, and playing games, Chen Chu naturally accepted this unexpected development. And he probably knows why the hexagonal salamander became his clone. It should be related to his talent for soul splitting. Glancing at various data, Chen Chu was not surprised by the fact that his attributes, except for his mental state, were below that of a normal person. His body is really weak. Then his gaze fell on the data of his clone below, and the corner of his mouth slightly rose. Only existing on the fantasy attribute page, as long as he eats, he can accumulate an evolved clone. In this situation, he feels that he can easily do well in his life. Cough. Calm down, calm down. After getting excited, Chen Chu gradually calmed down. 
Next, he studied the attribute pages for a while, but unfortunately, he still didn't gain much. At 8 o'clock in the morning, on the sidewalk by the street, Chen Chu was wearing a white short-sleeved shirt, black trousers, and leather shoes, walking towards the sunrise on his way to school. It has to be said that the school uniform styles in this world are quite good, and wearing them all makes Chen Chu look a bit more energetic. At this moment, Chen Hu envied and said, Brother, you look so handsome in this school uniform. Due to his weak physique since childhood, Chen Chu's face has never had much color, appearing fair and clean, and his facial features are very delicate, even more beautiful than many girls. Although not very tall and slightly emaciated, with a height of 1.7 meters, walking in a straight and elegant posture gives people a feeling of being a sickly and beautiful teenager. It's okay, isn't it? Chen Chu was quite satisfied with this, grateful that after crossing the river, he wasn't ugly and short. Compared to his older brother, his younger brother Chen who appears more rugged. At the age of 13, he is 1.75 meters tall, with a sturdy body and a tiger-like head and tiger-like brain. Today is not only the beginning of Chen Chu's school, Chen Hu is also the same. The two of them are in middle school and high school. And the school is in the same direction. Chen Hu's school is closer, about a 20-minute walk, while Chen Chu's high school takes about half an hour to walk, separated by a district. Brother, I heard that after entering high school, you can learn true martial arts. If you have good talents, you can also receive national key training. Chen Chu shook his head and said, it's not easy to meet the national training standards. Chen Hu waved his fist and said, brother, I believe you, you can definitely do it. Do you think my body, like a sickly seedling, would have great talent for cultivation? Compared to Chen Hu's blind trust, Chen Chu had little confidence. After more than a decade of chaos since the beginning of the new era, countries from all over the world have united to form the current Federation of Nations, maintaining stability for decades. The city we are currently in is called Wujiang City, and most of the people living there are Han Chinese, who receive 12 years of compulsory education. In high school, as the body develops and takes shape, everyone will begin to learn the basic martial arts formulated by the federal government. At this point, most people's lives begin to diverge. If you have a talent for cultivation and are willing to develop into martial arts, you will enter a martial arts training class in the second semester of high school, focusing on martial arts and also studying humanities. Other individuals who have practiced basic martial arts for a semester but lack talent can focus on humanities and sciences and be admitted to universities with excellent grades. Of course, whether it's practicing martial arts or studying, there are only a few talented people, and most of them will enter society after finishing high school. Since it is practicing martial arts, a good body is naturally the foundation. Therefore, Chen Chukai has no hope for his cultivation talent. However, he was not discouraged either. With his attribute page and a clone that could evolve, he still has the possibility of standing at the peak. On the way, Chen Chu and Chen Hu separated and walked along the sidewalk for more than 10 minutes before arriving at the school gate called Nantian Wugao. Today is the start of school day, and cars delivering children almost fill the streets. Due to the revival of spiritual energy, although the technological civilization in this world is also developing, progress is slow and overall only slightly advanced than on Earth. Therefore, although these luxury cars have smoother lines, they still burn oil and electricity, and have not yet developed to the point of suspension. Following the flow of people, Chen Chu walked into the school calmly and followed the name posted on the notice board, all the way to the classroom of class 3 on the second floor of the high school teaching building. At this point, there were already some students inside, appearing somewhat noisy. Chen Chu glanced and casually found a seat by the window in the back row, sighing in his heart, I didn't expect to go through high school again after crossing time. Soon, the class was filled with about 40 people, with a male-to-female ratio of about 1 to 1. At 9 o'clock, a woman in her 30s walked into the classroom, dressed in formal attire and with a serious face. 
Upon entering, she wrote the words Chin Chi on the blackboard. Chin Chi stood on the podium and looked down seriously, saying, My name is Chin Chi, and from today on, I will be your homeroom teacher. Then she pointed directly at the two students in the front row and said, You, acting class monitor. You, acting as a temporary member of the Martial Arts Academy, is that okay? The two students named by her, one male and one female, were even more excited and stood up, saying, Teacher, I have no problem. The girl also nodded and said, I'm not a problem either. Great, you two can find a few people and go to the textbook room to collect and distribute the learning materials. Yes, teacher. Then she looked at all the students and said calmly, On the first day of school today, there's nothing to do. The main thing is to let you recognize your class. After receiving the study materials, you can freely move around, go back, or visit the school. The formal class will only start tomorrow. Also, your current seats are the ones you will be sitting in the future and will not change unless there are special circumstances. There is a corresponding key in the drawer under the table, which can lock the learning materials inside. There is no need to carry them back and forth every day. All right, that's it. After speaking, the homeroom teacher named Chen Chi turned around and left, swiftly and cleanly, leaving the students to continue their confusion. Including Chen Chu, he never expected to meet such a terrible homeroom teacher on the first day of high school in this world. Or is it that the educational style of this world is like this? Just point to two people as class monitors and some martial arts training committee members, just give a few words and then turn around and leave, just like staying a little longer would waste her life. Under normal circumstances, shouldn't every student be allowed to introduce themselves on stage, make everyone look familiar, and integrate into the class atmosphere and new environment as soon as possible? End of this chapter Chapter 3 Relationships you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Relationships Watching the homeroom teacher walk out of the classroom, the other students instinctively looked at the two class leaders in the front row. There's no way, who wants them to be the class monitor and the martial arts training committee member? Seeing this, the two students were not afraid of the stage. As they walked onto the stage, many male students' eyes lit up because the class monitor was very beautiful. My name is Lin Shui. As the monitor of Class 3, I hope everyone can actively cooperate with the class's tasks in the future. After speaking, the girl named Lin Shui's gaze swept over everyone, with an inexplicable strong aura that made many students dare not look at each other. At this moment, another boy smiled and said, Hello classmates, my name is Yin Rui. We will all be classmates in the same class for the next semester. I hope to help each other and work together to have a wonderful first semester. Now we need to go and collect study materials, and we need some classmates to join us. Do you know which students are willing to help? Me. I'll go too. And I. After Ian Roy finished speaking, many male classmates actively stood up and appeared very enthusiastic. The first year of high school is the most beautiful age. Although the girl named Lin Shui is a bit aloof and imposing, who makes her beautiful. Soon, six boys and one girl were willing to contribute to the class and followed the two out of the classroom. At this moment, the boy in the front row of Chin Chu chuckled and said, If you don't even ask for your name, you can appoint a class monitor and a martial arts training committee member. I'm sure there must be some PY deal going on here. Is PY trading just a class monitor? Chen Chu was somewhat surprised. The boy in front turned around and said with a deep meaning, Classmate, you underestimated the class cadres in high school. These two positions are not that simple. After speaking, the boy introduced himself with a smile and said, Hi brother, my name is Xia Yuhui. I studied in Experiment 3 in junior high school, and you. Chen Chu said simply, Chen Chu, it was raised from Lingshan No. 1 Middle School. Lingshan No. 1 Middle School, the scenery there is beautiful. I have visited it once. Chen Chu looked at the young man with a simple and honest appearance and curiously said, Xia, 
is there any difference between a high school class cadre and a middle school one? The difference is quite significant. Xia Yuhui said with some envy, according to national regulations, everyone can learn martial arts after high school, but you should know that there are dozens of people in a class, one or two thousand in a grade. In this situation, Junwu teacher definitely cannot be attentive to all students, as dozens or even hundreds of people attend classes together. At this point, the class monitor and their identities became prominent. As class cadres, they could simply find a reason to consult the teacher alone. At that time, the teacher will give some guidance on cultivation techniques and personal experience, which will be enough for them to gradually get rid of other classmates. The better their grades, the more attention they receive from schools and even officials, and there is also a tilt in resources. When the time comes, they will be faster and faster. I see. With this statement, Chen Chuming understood why he had previously said there was insider information. It's a bit strange that the homeroom teacher assigns such an important position without even asking the names of those two classmates. At this moment, Xia Yuhui whispered, not only that, but I heard that high school martial arts class cadres receive monthly rewards for their contributions. What are the points of contribution? Chen Chu was somewhat puzzled, and he really didn't know these. Xia Yuhui shook his head and said, it is an important resource for cultivating martial arts. I also heard my brother say that it will give me a chance to earn some after high school. Xia Yuhui was obviously the kind of person who was naturally familiar. After chatting with Chin Chu, he turned back to talk to the girl in front of him and quickly got along with his classmates around him. Not only him, but also the other students in the classroom, feeling new to the new environment on the first day of school. Only a few people were similar to Chin Chu, sitting there silently looking around. Soon, Lin Shui and Yi Rui returned with big and small bags. After distributing textbooks, many students left the classroom and walked together in small groups to familiarize themselves with the campus, especially class monitor Lin Shui and committee member Yi Rui, who were surrounded by more people. Chen Chu chose to go home and buy food for the hexagonal salamander. Boss, how do you sell this shrimp? Chen Chu stood in front of the seafood stall at the farmer's market. 21 pounds. Chen Chu paused slightly and pointed to the dead little fish in a basket on the ground, saying, Where are these little white bars? 5 yuan. Give me 10 pounds of small white notes, said Zhang Xiaolan, the only one in the family with economic income and high living pressure. Chen Chu was naturally able to save a little bit. Scan the QR code for payment, Chen Chu walked out of the market carrying 10 pounds of fish and some lunch and evening dishes. Zhang Xiaolan goes to work very early every day and comes back very late at night, so most of the time it is Chen Chu who is responsible for cooking dinner and Chen Hu who is responsible for washing dishes. Returning home, it was only after 10 o'clock in the morning, and Chen Hu had not returned yet. Chen Chu threw most of the small fish into the refrigerator to freeze, and the remaining pound of small fish was gutted, washed clean, and chopped into small pieces. After all, it can also be considered as food for oneself, so it's better to clean it up a bit. I haven't eaten since morning, and the salamander clone is already starving. Chen Chu felt a strong sense of hunger from the clone on his way back. When Chen Chu carried a plate of fish upstairs, on the table, the small black sesame-like eyes of the white salamander rolled around, appearing somewhat silly and cute. Chen Chu's consciousness moved and his attention fell on the salamander. Suddenly, the originally lazy salamander stood up, its small limbs crawling, and it stumbled over to the plate to eat. I don't know if it's due to insufficient mental power or shared consciousness. When Chen Chu's attention is focused on himself, the salamander clone will fall into a weak state of consciousness. Although it won't shut down, the reaction will become very slow. Similarly, when his consciousness controls the clone, the human body's response is also similar, making it impossible to control both bodies simultaneously and freely. For this problem, he currently doesn't know how to solve it, but can only see if he can develop the ability to work both ways in the future. In Chinchuro's contemplation, 
he consciously controlled a piece of fish meat in each bite of the hexagonal salamander. As soon as these fish enter the stomach, they are dissolved and digested at an astonishing speed, turning into weak warm currents that spread throughout the body and become growth nutrients. Then I saw the salamander with hexagonal cheeks and a snow-dot-white body growing at a visible speed to the naked eye. The digestive ability of a salamander clone is terrifying. Every time it eats an equivalent volume of food, it will grow one centimeter and then do it again. It will not enter a buffer period until one point of evolution value is accumulated. According to Chin Chu's observation, the volume of the clone can increase by 4 cm per day, earning 2 evolution points and consuming 2 pounds of food. It only takes a few days to meet the first evolution requirement. I don't know what the evolution of the hexagonal salamander will become, the large hexagonal salamander. Or will it evolve into the hexagonal dragon? In the new book period, brothers who like this book remember to vote to collect and support it. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 True Martial Arts. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4 True Martial Arts Before leaving in the morning, Chen Chu prepared morning food for the salamander clone. However, before leaving, Zhang Xiaolan, who had not yet gone to work today, stopped them. At the entrance of the old courtyard, Zhang Xiaolan gently helped Chen Chu tidy up her collar. Looking at her eldest son, who was already as tall as her, her eyes were filled with emotion. Mom, is there anything else? Chen who beside him was puzzled. Looking at her two sons, Zhang Xiaolan smiled slightly and said, It's nothing. I just wanted to tell you and your brother that school has just started, don't put too much pressure on them. Chen who didn't care and said, It's just junior high school. I can keep up with anything I learn. Looking at Zhang Xiaolan's second son with a tiger's head and brain, she smiled bitterly. Of course, the second son was not worried, as she had been intelligent and active since childhood, with good physical and academic performance. She is worried about the boss, who can cultivate true martial arts after high school, but not everyone has a talent for cultivation. The eldest son is weak and sickly from a young age, and at first glance, he is not someone who can cultivate martial arts. The greater the hope, the greater the disappointment. In case he is hit Chin Chu calmly said, Mom, don't worry, I have a plan in mind. Okay, Zhang Xiaolan opened her mouth, but in the end, she didn't say anything more. Farewell to Zhang Xiaolan, the Chen and Chu brothers are walking on their way to school. Along the way, you can see many students wearing school uniforms also going to school, some alone, some playing and frolicking along the way, and some riding bicycles. Federal schools are divided into districts, and all students attend school nearby, so many people wear the same school uniforms as Chen Chu or Chen Hu. In the classroom, class monitor Lin Shui and committee member Yi Rui arrived early, and many classmates surrounded them to chat, it was very lively. As soon as Chen Chu sat down, Xia Yuhui in front leaned over and said mysteriously, Ah Chu, I already know why Yi Rui and his team became class cadres. Ah Chu, are we so familiar now? Although the bottom of his heart roast, Chen Chu asked curiously. Why? It is said that the class monitor's parents are strong cultivators, and the class teacher must be trying to curry favor with her family. Okay, both parents are strong cultivators. Chen Chu asked, what about the other one? Xia Yuhui whispered, Yin Rui is not simple either. He has money and power in the city, so maybe he gave his homeroom teacher a red envelope and said hello before the start of school. I see, indeed, class exists in any world. Don't talk about this everywhere. Finally, Chen Chu reminded Xia Yuhui. Regardless of whether this matter is true or false, as a student, it is best not to discuss the class teacher behind the scenes, otherwise it will not be good to hear it to the other party. I know, I only told you about this, I didn't tell anyone else. Xia Yuhui blinked, looking like I trusted you very much. At this moment, a math teacher walked in and the class fell silent. The high school cultural class in this world is not very difficult. 
After listening to one class, Chen Chu was in a daze. Of course, in reality, he was distracted and controlling the salamander clone at home to eat. Three classes in the morning passed quickly, and in the blink of an eye, it was noon. After lunch, take a break. All the first-year high school students marched to the back of the school, surrounded by more than ten tall buildings distinguished by the letters A, B, C, D, forming a training area composed of the central gymnasium. According to the class, Chen Chu and others came to the fifth-floor cultivation classroom of Building B. In the 500-square-meter cultivation classroom, a middle-aged man in his thirties with a cold expression stood on a high platform, with a large screen five meters high and eight meters wide behind him. When all the students stood up, the middle-aged man slowly opened his eyes. His sharp gaze made everyone feel a pain in their eyes. Hush! Many students were taken aback by the teacher's terrifying gaze. The middle-aged man said in a deep voice, My name is Pang Long, and I am your Jinwu teacher for the first semester. Next, I will first explain to you what true martial arts are. As he spoke, Pang Long pointed to a pile of pre-prepared cement boards below the stage and said, See if those cement boards are there. A few boys are here to lift them up. After a slight pause, Wu Xiu Commissari Rui took the lead and walked out, followed by some boys, including Xia Yuhui. There are six cement boards, each about one meter long and one meter wide, and ten centimeters thick, estimated to weigh over a hundred kilograms. Therefore, even if two people work together, they still struggle to lift the chubby little ones, which indirectly indicates that their strength seems to be a bit strong. According to Pang Long's request, Irui and his team erected cement boards one by one on the table and stacked them into rows of cement walls, unsure of what to do. Standing on the stage with his hands down, Pang Long looked down at the childish faces below and said calmly, What is true martial arts? True martial arts are about refining fake into real. Decades ago, martial arts and cultivation were just folk legends, jokingly referred to as flower racks, with no practical effect. Even after 20 years of hard training, I can't stop a bullet. But all of this began to change in the new era, with some pioneers discovering that they could refine falsehoods and turn past legends into reality. And this is true martial arts. Boom. As soon as the words fell, a terrifying aura erupted from Pang Long's body, like a sleeping giant beast suddenly waking up. The powerful momentum was like substance, pressing the surrounding air with a dull explosion, forming twisted waves and strong winds in circles, blowing his clothes and hunting with explosive sounds. On the high platform, Pang Long's figure swayed and appeared at the table, crossing three meters like a teleportation. His right hand, which had gathered terrifying power, clenched its fist and threw it out. Due to his strong strength, there were even circles of transparent shockwaves in front of his fist. Boom! Under the shocking gaze that most people couldn't believe, six stacked pieces of cement exploded with a loud bang, filled with smoke and dust, and the sound was terrifying. Under the powerful force, countless pieces of gravel and mud scattered like shells, smashing against walls more than ten meters away, shattering into small pits. Fortunately, the direction of Pang Long's punches was from the side to the bottom, otherwise these powerful fragments could have been as powerful as bullets falling on the students, enough to turn them into sieves. Gollum. Even Chin Chu swallowed saliva this time. Although information found online has stated that powerful cultivators can sink aircraft carriers and tear apart giant beasts, after all, it is just words and far from the shock seen with their own eyes. Moreover, the six cement boards were close to one meter thick, and even anti-material sniper guns may not be able to penetrate them, but at this moment they were directly blasted with a punch. This powerful force immediately made Chen Chu's blood boil, and he was full of anticipation for the upcoming cultivation. On the podium, Pang Long stood with his hand down, looking down at the excited faces below, very satisfied with the effect of his punch. After the smoke and dust cleared, Pang Long slowly said, Next, let's start the first step of cultivation. Everyone, wait and meditate according to the pattern on the screen behind me. Practice for an hour, and after that, 
it's the practice class of the casting technique. By the way, who is the class monitor? I. Lin Shui in the front row took a step forward. Are you full of energy in energy? Not bad. Glancing at the young girl, Hang Long nodded and said, Later, you can explain to them what building a foundation is, and come to me when someone meets the standards for building a foundation. The martial arts training committee member of this class, you are responsible for maintaining order in future training classes. Yes, teacher, Irui replied loudly. Immediately, Pang Long turned around and left, just like the first day's homeroom teacher Chin Chi, leaving behind most of the students with a bewildered expression. Is that all for now? Why are these teachers all very busy? End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Genius. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 Genius After the teacher left, class monitor Lin Shui walked onto the podium. I don't know where she pressed on the desk, but the big screen behind her slowly cracked open from the middle, revealing a pure white lotus stone carving behind her. Lotus flowers almost occupy half of the wall, and the patterns on the petals are clearly visible, emitting a strange light faintly. Looking at everyone below, Lin Shui calmly said, True martial arts are too powerful to be practiced by ordinary people, so we need to build a foundation. Building a foundation requires achieving two requirements at the same time, namely, sufficient vitality of spirit and vitality, and the transpiration of blood and gas throughout the body. The stone carving on the wall behind me is called Lotus Platform Meditation Thoughts, which contains the thoughts of a cultivator and can help everyone quickly start meditation and become calm. When your spiritual power can clearly outline the lotus platform, it means you meet the spiritual standards. The standard for unobstructed qi and blood, as well as blood and gas transpiration, is to complete the cultivation of the 10 transformations casting body technique within half an hour, and at the same time, both standards must be met in order to build a foundation. When Lin Shui explained these things, most of the students in the class looked calm, obviously knowing these things long ago. Only a few students were similar to Chin Chu. When they first learned about these things, their faces showed a thoughtful expression and they listened attentively. Remember, being able to build a foundation and cultivate true martial arts is the greatest benefit of the country to us ordinary people, not everyone can be awakened from birth. All right, everyone disperse and start your first meditation practice. Lin Shui turned around and walked off the podium, finding an open space to sit cross-legged. Seeing this, others also follow suit. Chen Chu sat down at the edge of the crowd, following Lin Shui's instructions, and focused his attention on the stone carving. Suddenly, the lotus flower kept enlarging in his eyes. Spiritual power for ordinary people who have not practiced, is ethereal, imperceptible, and untouchable. But when the lotus flower occupied all of Chen Chu's sight, he instinctively closed his eyes and immediately became aware of the existence of spiritual power for the first time. In the endless darkness of consciousness, a transparent lotus with only a few dotted lines slowly spun and existed in his mind. Is that what it means to get started quickly? It's so impressive. Chen Chu exclaimed. Although it was his first time practicing, he also understood how difficult it was for ordinary people to perceive their spiritual power from scratch through meditation alone. I can still sit still. Under normal circumstances, ordinary people may close their eyes and become lost in thought, unable to concentrate, let alone concentrate and meditate. It can be imagined how much time this picture has saved them. But next, when Chen Chu wanted to clearly visualize the entity of the lotus flower, he found that the progress was extremely slow and laborious. In just half an hour, he felt stars in his eyes, mentally exhausted, and had to withdraw from meditation. Surprisingly so tired, Chen Chu rubbed his brow. Chen Chu rested for a while and felt more comfortable before turning his head to look around, only to find that most of his classmates had also withdrawn from their meditation state. Some people sat there in a daze, while others stared intently at the stone carvings, and these people, like Chen Chu, looked tired and mentally exhausted. But there are still people continuing to meditate. For example, 
Lin Shui, Yi Rui, and the other four men, three women, and nine people in the front row, with Xia Yuhui among them. After waiting for a while, Xia Yuhui and the other five also gradually withdrew from their meditation state, leaving only Lin Shui, Yi Rui, and another boy in the end. In this situation, although no one reminded them, everyone remained silent to avoid disturbing them. The meditation class is over, and the casting practice class is about to begin. With the sound of the horn on the wall, Lin Xuesan slowly opened his eyes. At this moment, Xia Yuhui sat down in front of Chen Chu and whispered, the duration of the first meditation is actually a manifestation of talent. Chen Chu turned his head to look at him, this guy seemed to know a lot. Xia Yuhui envied and said, don't look at me. Although my spiritual talent is a bit better than yours, I am still a bit inferior when facing those three guys. I can be certain that they have already shown at least three petals. And looking at them without any signs of fatigue, their mental energy is clearly abundant, and they may be able to meditate on a complete lotus flower in two or three days. Three Lobes Chen Chu was taken aback for a moment. He hadn't even fully imagined a single petal, and they already had three. Is there such a big difference? Xia Yuhui patted Chen Chu's shoulder and comforted him, don't be surprised, this is the difference between genius and ordinary people, it's impossible to compare. And although they haven't practiced in advance, they have already used some resources to warm up their spirits, and their innate conditions are much stronger than ours. But Achu, don't be discouraged either. Meditation is just one step faster, we still have a chance to surpass them. As soon as this guy finished speaking, the big screen had already closed and lit up again. A middle-aged man wearing a white practice suit appeared on it, and his figure was slightly sinking, performing hand movements. Attention everyone! Lin Shui in the front row slowly said, next is the body casting technique, which involves practicing 18 postures in a specific order. It can unclog the veins of our entire body and have a certain effect on forging our body. The essence and blood stones in the cultivation room will automatically open, and under the illumination of the essence and blood stones, we can easily feel the blood in our body and quickly get started. When practicing, we need to use spiritual power to stimulate the flow of qi and blood to follow the cultivation process, and at the same time, after completing each practice, it becomes a cycle. All right, let's get started. On the big screen, the middle-aged man began to practice at a very slow pace, and each posture was very standard, giving Chen Chu a feeling of practicing Tai Chi in ancient yoga. But when the sixth position started, the difficulty suddenly increased, and many positions completely violated ergonomics. In the last few positions, he even felt his scalp tingling. A few minutes later, when the middle-aged person finished demonstrating once and started the second time, someone followed suit and started practicing. At the same time, on the 10-meter high ceiling of the cultivation classroom, a red crystal the size of a human head lit up, emitting a crimson glow that enveloped everyone. Under the red light, Chen Chu felt a sensation of heat all over his body, and his blood began to boil. Subconsciously, he began to follow in his cultivation. The first position has a relatively simple starting posture, the second position is a bit difficult and decent, and the third position hush. As soon as he reached the third position, he squatted and extended his right leg, extending his hands forward and backward. When he bent down and lay down, Chen Chu suddenly felt pain in his lower fascia. The excruciating pain, like a cramp, made Chen Chu's face pale and unable to move. Until the pain began to weaken after a while, Chen Chu was sweating profusely before daring to practice the fourth posture. At the same time, as Chen Chu practiced, he felt his whole body's blood becoming increasingly hot and dry, with a seemingly vague qi flowing through his body. Feeling the faint qi and blood, Chen Chu's expression was cold. He didn't dare to neglect it, and the newly cultivated spiritual power quickly restrained it, allowing this faint qi and blood to circulate with the cultivation at this moment, everyone is practicing, but many of them have crooked postures, with around ten better ones. For example, 
class monitor Lin Shui and a few girls are also practicing with the teaching on the big screen, their movements are unfamiliar, but they are still standard. In addition, their bodies are full of flexibility and pleasing to the eye, making many boys stare intently and forget to practice. However, the fastest person to complete the practice was a boy who was sweating profusely and had a faint white vapor emanating from his head. It took 10 minutes. By comparison, Chen Chu found that his physical talent seemed really poor. He is still struggling to bend back, with one leg bent back, doing the ninth move, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 The Heavenly King You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 The Heavenly King The learning pressure in this world is not high. In high school, there is a cultural class at 8.30 a.m., a martial arts class at 1.30 p.m., and it's time to finish school at 4 p.m. After school, students can participate in school club activities or leave school to go home. With the sound of the school bell ringing, the school suddenly became noisy, and thousands of students rushed out from various teaching buildings. Soon, football, basketball, tennis, and even the hallway were filled with the figures of students, and those who went to participate in club activities were playing and making noise. For most high school students, cultural classes are boring, martial arts classes are difficult, or club activities are interesting. Especially for those high school sophomores and seniors who lack the talent for cultivation and choose cultural courses, their whole bodies exude a youthful atmosphere. Celebrate youth and enjoy a relaxed campus life. Compared to the bustling literary district, the martial arts district is much quieter, staying in the training rooms one by one to practice hard, giving people a feeling of completely two worlds. Chen Chu walked out of Building B with a shoulder bag on his back, rubbing his shoulders. From being excited about Jin Wu to now feeling sore and mentally exhausted, it only took a few short hours. It goes without saying that meditation is already mentally demanding, but at least it was introduced directly with the help of the school, and the first time in the class, the duration was also average. But the progress of casting is too slow. It wasn't until school was over that he could barely complete 18 postures, feeling the so dot called chi and blood under the radiance of the essence and blood stone. Overall, his progress was at the worst in the class. Not to mention the fastest one, the slowest one also completed the first turn in just over 30 minutes, while the others took about 20 minutes. And during the one-hour casting practice class, the fastest person practiced four times before stopping, and the duration of practice became shorter and shorter. After practicing for a while, he felt a lack of chi and blood, and his physical strength couldn't keep up. That is to say, his spiritual talent is decent in cultivation, but his physical talent is very poor due to his weak physique. Or rather, his spiritual talent is actually very good, even in the case of a split soul, his spiritual talent belongs to the upper middle class. If his soul is intact looking up at the scorching sun hanging in the sky, Chen Chu's face showed a faint smile and said, it's okay, as long as you can practice, overall it's similar to what I expected. He had anticipated this situation for a long time, although he had previously fantasized that he was actually a genius. But the reality is cruel. His comprehensive cultivation talent is average, ranking in the middle or lower class of 40 people, let alone the entire grade of thousands of people. But my talent is not good, I'll just use cheats to make up for it. Thinking of this, Chen Chi read and activated the attribute page. Physical Fitness 7.1 Power 7 Agility 6 Spirit 10.1 Talent Soul Splitting Technique Lotus Platform Dark Mind, Progress 5 out of 100, Body Casting Technique, 1 slash 100, Split Body On the Attribute page, there are additional notes on the meditation and casting techniques learned today, and there is also a progress note at the end. In addition, both physical and mental attributes have been improved by 0.1, which should be due to the cultivation effect. I didn't expect this basic skill to have the effect of improving attributes. Moreover, Chen Chu has tested that once the technique is recorded on the attribute page, his body will not forget it. 
For example, when he reached the tenth position during his first practice of the body casting technique, he had to interrupt his practice because it was too painful and uncomfortable. Then I took a short rest and, when I practiced again, my body smoothly made the first nine positions without any difficulty. This phenomenon, similar to being proficient and fixed, has brought Chin Chu and those geniuses much closer together. And he can clearly see his cultivation progress, which makes him more motivated to practice. Don't worry, take your time. With a relaxed smile on his face, Chen Chu walked out of the school calmly. The weather in September is hot, but fortunately the urban greening is done well. Chen Chu walked under the shade of the sidewalk and walked towards the market in the direction of the cool breeze. At this moment, cars were coming and going on the street, with towering buildings along the way. Many billboards were adorned with celebrity advertisements, and shops on both sides were also filled with various products, making it very bustling. When passing an intersection, some hungry Chin Chu Shun bought an egg cake and a bottle of juice. Back home, 5 o'clock. Chen Chu first took out some fish and thawed it in the microwave oven, then processed the dishes at night, sliced the twice-cooked pork, and patted the ginger, onion and garlic. After finishing these, I went to take out the thawed fish and clean it, cutting it into small pieces for easy consumption. In the second floor room, which had grown to 18 centimeters long, the six-horned salamander, which was twice as thick, was under Chin Chu's conscious control, nibbling on fish and meat. Accompanied by the digestion of food in the stomach, the hexagonal salamander grew two centimeters in a circle at a visible speed after two consecutive meals. This growth rate is even faster than the expansion of eating jincula, completely contrary to the growth laws of biology. The evolution value has also accumulated to five points. As long as he eats for another two or three days, the clone can start its first evolution, which Chin Chu has some expectations for. The salamander, fully fed and drunk, lay on the table with a human-like laziness on its face, while Chin Chu opened his computer and prepared to search for information about Chin Wu. I don't know if it was too severe at the time, almost burning him to death, causing damage to brain cells. In the past few days, Chen Chu has combed through and found that many memories have become blurred. Only some memorable contents, including his mother, younger brother, and daily habits, are relatively clear, making him feel like a novice cultivator today. In this world where martial arts are prevalent, even if his family is ordinary and he cannot access high.end information, he should not be ignorant of some common sense. At this moment, with Chen Chu's precise search, a large amount of information about Chen Wu suddenly emerged on the internet, including its origin and development history. The division of the true martial realm that Chen Chu wants to know is called the Nine Heavens of True Martial Arts. There is no detailed explanation of the strongest method, with one being the lowest and nine being the strongest. In addition, you can easily find many videos of skilled martial arts masters opening martial arts schools on the internet. Some people perform a punch through the wall, some jump tens of meters high and climb between high dot rise buildings, or they are surrounded by flames outside. There are also scenes of physical fitness enthusiasts resisting submachine guns, sniper rifles, and even testing rocket attacks without any damage. After browsing the video with passion for a while, Chen Chu finally remembered the main idea. He searched for it and found a highly praised article about the foundation building technique in high school. The current high school foundation can be divided into two categories. Meditation and Casting Technique. The casting method is a foundation building method that was simplified 10 years ago by the Zhenwu Heavenly King, who combined the essence of multiple martial arts schools and exhausted the mysteries of the human body. This method can help ordinary people stretch their entire body fascia, unblock veins, transport qi and blood, and in a short period of time, put the whole body in a state of qi and blood fullness. After research, the casting method has shown good results for young people under the age of 20, with the most suitable effect during high school. Assisted by the Lotus Timing idea, it can help people quickly build a foundation. 
In the past decade, the number of cultivators in the country has increased by more than 10 times, greatly enhancing our country's basic strength. Unfortunately, Lian Tai Ming's idea only has one grade and can only be used to build foundations, which is not comparable to the nine rank divine Lotus Ming's idea of the nine rank heavenly king. Below this post, there is also this person's classification of talents. He believes that students who complete the foundation construction within a week, with the help of studying meditation, body casting techniques, and the cultivation of essence and blood stones, have superior talent, moderate talent within half a month, and inferior talent within a month. As for those who have completed the foundation construction within two months or more, he does not recommend continuing the path of cultivation. Because under the various resources and systematic training in school, people who take a month to build a foundation do not have much talent for cultivation. Even if forced to practice, there is no hope of breaking through the triple heaven in this lifetime. The cultivation of martial arts is like sailing against the current, either advancing or retreating. Instead of dedicating one's entire life to cultivation and experiencing a decline in qi and blood in old age, it is better to be an ordinary person and enjoy life well. Junwu Heavenly King, Jiuyo Heavenly King After reading this post, what impressed Chin Chu deeply was the names of these two people. I don't know what kind of person they are, how strong their strength is, in order to create this foundational skill that benefits countless people. Brothers who like this book, remember to vote and collect to support it, ha uh, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 And Yang Qing You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 and Yang Qing During dinner tonight, Zhang Xiaolan was concerned about Qin Chu's cultivation today. Even my younger brother Qin Hu is a bit curious. However, this was only the first day of learning, and he had only learned the common technique of building foundations, so Chin Chu just briefly said a few words before ending the topic. After dinner, Chin Chu took a shower and returned to his room. He sat cross-legged on the bed and began to meditate. As he closed his eyes and focused, the illusory lotus slowly emerged in his pitch-black mind. According to that post, the idea of a first-grade lotus Thai meditation is a process of constantly purifying and condensing spiritual power when the lotus flower is manifested in meditation. Consolidating the loose and void spiritual power of ordinary people into a real existence that can weakly interfere with matter is the key to building the foundation for introducing qi into the body. As for what is the concept of introducing air into the body, I didn't elaborate on it. I just mentioned this step, and the school teachers will naturally tell them. The lotus has twelve petals. During the afternoon meditation class, Chen Chu spent half an hour and condensed most of the petals. At this moment, as he practiced, the petal continued to slowly become complete. Who? More than half an hour later, Chen Chu slowly opened his eyes, his expression somewhat tired, but his eyes showed a satisfied expression because he had completely revealed a petal. It's just that my proficiency has only improved by four points this time, which is one point less than in the afternoon. I don't know if it's because I have meditation maps for my first time practicing. However, at this speed, even if he cultivates twice a day at four o'clock, he is expected to break through in about ten days. And this cultivation has increased spiritual attributes by zero. One again. Next, Chen Chu practiced the casting technique in the room. Although not assisted by the radiance of the essence and blood stone, Chen Chu still keenly felt the faint qi and blood in his body while practicing the casting technique on the attribute page. During physical cultivation, the spiritual power controls the flow of qi and blood to follow the movement, strengthening the physique in subtle and imperceptible places. The first time it takes 35 minutes. Then I practiced again, taking 30 minutes, with a proficiency of plus 2. However, this time the physical attributes only increased by 0.1, and the effect was half of the improvement from the first transfer of qi and blood in the afternoon. After practicing twice in a row, Chen Chu became exhausted and felt exhausted, both physically and mentally. My physique is still too poor, just carrying two rounds of qi and blood is not enough. 
Amidst his sighs, Chen Chu drank some hot water and fell asleep in bed. Chen Chu is very motivated by this cultivation method that can cultivate extraordinary power. Even if it's due to physical reasons, it doesn't matter if he starts slower. He has attribute pages to fix his proficiency, and with effort, he gains. If it weren't for the physical and mental exhaustion of practicing once, which requires a long rest to recover, he would have wished he could practice 24 hours a day. The next day, Chen Chu Gang walked into the classroom and saw everyone discussing cultivation. Some people ask the other party which petal they have thought of, while others are concerned about how to cultivate the casting technique to be faster and longer, feeling that cultivation is very difficult. There are still a few girls who, based on their complaints, are ready to give up their cultivation. After each practice, they feel sore and tired all over, and after meditation, their eyes are full of stars and they feel nauseous and nauseous. This situation obviously has little talent for cultivation. Chen Chu came to his seat and sat down. Xia Yuhui in the front row leaned over and said, Ah Chu, how is your progress in meditation and casting? Not bad, Chen Chu casually said. Xia Yuhui persisted in asking, How much is still okay? Guess what? We are good brothers, you actually let me guess, it's just the cultivation progress of the foundation building technique. Xia Yuhui looked heartbroken. Didn't you also mention it? Why don't you first tell me where you have reached in your cultivation? Chen Chu remained unmoved. There's something I can't say. Xia Yuhui humbly said, My talent is very ordinary. Now I only think of the third petal, and the casting body can barely move twice in half an hour. I only practiced six times last night, and then I felt very tired and went to bed. Chen Chu suddenly didn't want to talk to this guy. The casting body can be transported twice in half an hour, which is equivalent to practicing once in 15 minutes, and can be practiced six times in one breath. The meditation method is also twice as fast as him. Xia Yuhui asked curiously, But Chu, what about you? It's much worse than you. I thought about the first pedal, and the movement of qi and blood took 30 minutes. From Xia Yohui's progress, it can be seen that his progress was average, so Chen Chu did not conceal it. But after Chen Chu finished speaking, Xia Yuhui was slightly taken aback and said, No, I remember Ah Chu, you were almost an hour old yesterday and only managed to complete one operation, right? I think it was a bit unfamiliar during my first practice, but I became more proficient during my second practice at night, Chen Chu casually said. Is that so? Xia Yuhui nodded thoughtfully. The morning cultural class passed by in a flash. At noon, Chen Chu sat down in a corner of the cafeteria with the food he had prepared. Before he could eat it, Xia Yuhui excitedly followed him. Xia Yuhui excitedly said, But Chu, the ranking of new students in the whole grade has come out. Guess what ranking does class monitor Lin Shui have? Does this still have a ranking? Chen Chu was a bit confused. He has heard of the ranking of university flowers, but he never expected to attend high school, and these talents who come into contact with cultivation will have a new ranking. A Chu, don't underestimate this ranking. Xia Yuhui shook his head and said, There are over 1,800 new students in our Wuhan high school this year. All of them have practiced the foundation building method, and those who can stand out are geniuses. And the ranking only records the top 100, so it's not easy for those who can make it to the list. For example, an Yang Qing from class 1 has already come up with 11 pedals, and the casting body can be transported 7 times within half an hour, ranking first. I feel like in less than 2 days, she will be the first to successfully build the foundation. Okay, I'm a waste. Upon hearing this exaggerated progress, Chen Chu didn't know what to say for a moment. He only managed to make a slight turn in half an hour, and he could even make seven turns in half an hour. The idea of Lientai Temple has reached the level of eleven petals. This gap is so big that Chen Chu can't even feel jealous. Seeing that Chen Chu had not spoken for a moment, Xia Yuhui thought he had been hit and quickly comforted him, 
Ah Chu, don't lose heart. This is just building a foundation. The fast cultivation of that building foundation technique does not mean that they are highly compatible with the true martial arts technique. Even if we take them 10 and a half days to build the foundation this time, as long as the true martial arts techniques we cultivate have a high degree of compatibility, we can quickly catch up with them. There is still a degree of compatibility in the true martial arts techniques, what is that? Chin Chu was somewhat surprised. Cough. I'm not really familiar with this either. My brother casually mentioned it to me before. Xia Yuhui let out a dry cough and said, Guess what number is our class monitor Lin Xuan? Ha ha ha, you definitely can't guess. Before Chen Chu could guess, Xia Yuhui burst into laughter and said eagerly, Lin Xue is only 67th, 67th place. I'm laughing to death. That woman was so proud yesterday. I thought her talent was so exaggerated, but I didn't expect she only ranked 67. Ha ha ha. Achu, you know what? I laughed for a long time when I saw this ranking. Cough. Chen Chu glanced at the girl who had walked past him and suddenly stopped, especially the girl's increasingly cold expression, shifting the topic without leaving a trace. Xia Yuhui, how do you know all this? It seems that only I know the progress of my cultivation, and who gave them a name. Don't you know? Xia Yuhui was taken aback. The ranking of new students is displayed on the school's official website, as long as anyone who follows the website knows. As for the progress of cultivation, it was said by them themselves when others asked them in the morning, and someone specifically compiled a list. Although this ranking is not very accurate and changes every day, it also indirectly demonstrates their talent and potential, which many teachers are paying attention to. After speaking, Xia Yuhui shrank his neck and inexplicably said, It's strange, why do I feel a bit cold? End of this chapter Chapter 8 Twins You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Twins looking at Xia Yuhui excitedly across from him, Chen Chu kicked him without a trace under the table. However, this kick didn't exert too much force, and Xia Yuhui didn't react. As he was about to continue speaking, a cold voice came from behind him. This student, are 67 very funny. In an instant, Xia Yuhui froze all over, and he recognized that it was the voice of their class monitor. Xia Yuhui's face paused with a smile, and his neck stiffened as he turned around. Suddenly, a smile filled his face and he said, Ha, ha, ha. It's the class monitor. Class monitor should we sit together? That enthusiastic look, it's completely impossible to see that you were just laughing at the other party's low ranking. I'm only 67, but I dare not sit with this classmate. Lin Shui hugged her chest with both hands and sneered, glancing at the handsome young man sitting across from her. Then she lowered her head and landed on Xia Yuhui, saying calmly. This student, I remember your name is Xia, right? May I ask where you are on the freshman list? Ranking, what ranking? Xia Yuhui looked confused. Seeing him pretending to be silly, Lin Shui sneered and said, Why, dare you mock others behind their backs, but dare not admit it? Didn't you just laugh at me for having a low ranking? Is that right? Class monitor, you must have heard me wrong. You are the face of our class, how could I mock you? I don't even have time to respect you. Xia Yuhui spoke with righteous words and looked at Chen Chu. Isn't it, a Chu? Cough Chen Chu let out a dry cough and lowered his head to take a sip of the soup. I don't know anything, he said seeing this, Xia Yuhui rolled his eyes and said, Brother, you're not loyal enough. Chen Chu glanced at him and replied, Don't struggle, she heard everything you said earlier. Even if I help you explain, it's useless. In this situation, I think it's easier for you to commit suicide humph. Looking at the two boys with their eyebrows flickering, Lin Shui didn't say anything more and turned around to leave with a hum. As soon as Lin Shui left, Xia Yuhui frowned and said, Ah Chu, it's over. She's going to write me down in her notebook. 
Chen Chu didn't get angry and said, who made you laugh at others behind their backs? It's okay to say a few words about rankings behind their backs, but you're actually mocking them. Even Chen Chu couldn't help but shake his head with this luck, saying, and let's just laugh. The main leader happened to pass by and hear. But to be honest, this class monitor is indeed very beautiful. A black hair was dyed purple, and the goose egg shaped face was white and clean, bright and atmospheric. The delicate facial features were also painted with light eyeliner, making the narrow eyes more attractive. He should be 1.7 meters tall, slim and elegant. His short sleeved white shirt and school uniform are stretched high and bulging, at least B, plus, maybe C. Wearing long pants with straight and slender legs, coupled with the unique youthful aura of a young girl, no wonder she gained high popularity in class just two days ago. According to the online rating system, just based on appearance, you can get a score of 90, which belongs to the goddess level. However, Chin Chu originally thought that this class leader had a high and cold personality, but he didn't expect it to be a bit hot and not easy to provoke. Speaking of this, Xia Yuhui looked around mysteriously and whispered, But Chu, did you know that the class monitor has a twin sister? Twins. Sister. Chen Chu paused slightly. Xia Yuhui nodded and said, Yes, the monitor's sister's name is Lin Yu, and she is also the monitor of class 9. She is as beautiful as our monitor. Even Chen Chu was a little surprised this time. This beautiful girl with good looks is the same twin, Tutut I don't know where Xia Yuhui got the news. Next, while having dinner, he talked to Chen Chu about class gossip, covering all kinds of content. Time passes like this. The martial arts training class in the afternoon is still in the same training classroom. In the 500 square meter cultivation classroom, 40 people are scattered and there is no teacher to supervise them. Class leaders Lin Shui and Yi Rui maintain order. Perhaps in the eyes of those martial arts teachers, these students who are not even building foundations are not qualified to make them worry. However, Chen Chu felt that he had been screening people with cultivation talents since yesterday. This talent is not only physical, but also willpower and self-discipline. If one does not work hard and is lazy without the supervision of a teacher, then even if this person can cultivate true martial arts, there is not much value in cultivation. It's better to give up early than to put in a lot of effort and effort. Chen Chu sat down in a corner, closed his eyes, and in the blink of an eye, he entered a state of meditation. After four o'clock in the afternoon, accompanied by the sound of the school bell, Chen Chu, who was sore all over, sat on the ground in the training classroom, gasping for breath. At this moment, his shirt was soaked with sweat. After half an hour of meditation, he rested for a while before starting to practice the casting technique of transporting qi and blood. With the help of the later activated essence, blood, stone, and blood light, I carried it three times in over an hour, with a proficiency of plus three and a physical fitness of plus 0.2. The shortest time was 24 minutes. In addition, with meditation proficiency plus 4 and spiritual attributes plus 0.1, the overall progress is good. It was just carrying an extra round of qi and blood, causing physical exhaustion. At this time, Chen Chu felt empty, weak, and powerless in his body, and because his veins were clear and smooth, he was dripping profusely. This feeling is very strange. Finally, school is over. I'm so tired. Yeah, casting is definitely too difficult. Wang Gang, should we go to the club together? I need to take a shower first. Let's go first. Genius is always in the minority. Chen Chu observed today that most of the classmates in the class were able to move around in half an hour during their first practice yesterday. But today, many people only move two times after a class, with a duration of about 20 minutes, and only more than 10 times below 20 minutes. Although these people did not feel as tired and physically challenged as he did after completing their cultivation, their progress seemed to be much slower than Chen Chu had imagined. Of course, geniuses like class monitor Lin Shui and Yi Rui 
Chen Chu, did not pay attention. He is not on the same level as these people now, whether it is in talent or background. Forceful comparison will only make him discouraged and discouraged. Life is long, and the race between the turtle and the rabbit has just begun. Don't worry. Chen Chu rested for a while and only stood up after his physical strength had recovered significantly. There are public bathrooms on each floor of the cultivation building, separate for men and women. After taking a shower, you only need to throw your clothes into the cleaning and baking machine, and it will be refreshed in just a few minutes. After taking a shower, Chen Chu met Xia Yuhui when he got dressed and came out. A Chu, are you going back? Chen Chu nodded and said, Yes, what's up? It's nothing, Xia Yuhui shook his head and suddenly asked, By the way, A Chu, have you bought anything to nourish qi and blood these days? Tonifying qi and blood. Chen Chu hesitated slightly. Seeing his bewildered expression, Xia Yuhui leaned his forehead and said, I knew it was like this. Xia Yuhui patiently explained, the main function of the casting technique we cultivate is to transport qi and blood, unblock the muscles and meridians throughout the body, and have a certain body refining effect. In this situation, it consumes a lot of physical energy. At the beginning of cultivation, ordinary people move three or four times at a time, and practicing twice a day is the limit. Any more will result in damage to the body. Only when one's physical fitness becomes stronger in the later stage can one carry ten turns in one breath. If you want to increase your cultivation frequency and progress, and quickly strengthen your physique, you must purchase some low-dot-level health resources to replenish qi and blood. Even the geniuses who rank on the freshman list have a better innate physique than us, they still need to use resources to supplement their qi and blood. Chen Chu paused slightly. I see, why are those people just practicing for one day and turning five or seven times? They are all ordinary people, how could their physical differences be so large? In fact, Xia Yuhui didn't mention it, but Chen Chu, who had some doubts about this issue, also prepared to search online after returning home. As for forced cultivation, there is no need to worry. Chen Chu knows about the problem of qi and blood deficiency, and today he just wants to use the essence and blood stones in the cultivation classroom to help him see his limits. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Resources You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Resources After Xia Yuhui finished speaking, Chen Chu curiously asked, How much is the cheapest one of these resources for replenishing qi and blood? Is it the cheapest? Xia Yuhui thought for a moment and said, There are currently seven types of resources suitable for us to build foundations. The cheapest one is Tianyu Group's Blood Deer Antler, which costs only 10,000 yuan per serving. Taking one tablet can maintain a continuous consumption of qi and blood for five rotations, which is very cost-effective. Farewell. When Chen Chu heard that the cheapest qi and blood resources cost 10,000 yuan, he knew it was not something he could afford. Only Zhang Xiaolan has economic income in his family. As a grassroots manager of a metal company, Zhang Xiaolan's monthly salary is around 7,000 yuan. After deducting insurance and family expenses, she can only have a little left. This is still free education for the two brothers, with only the need to pay for meals. 10,000 yuan is not much for wealthy families like Lin Shui, but it is a large sum of money for the Chin Chu family. Not to mention that one serving of blood deer antler can only sustain five times of qi and blood transportation, it's completely like burning money. Lao Xia, thank you for reminding me. I have something else to do, so I'll leave first. Chen Chu patted Xia Yohui's shoulder and left with a shoulder bag on his back. Old Xia, am I very old? Watching Chen Chu leave behind, Xia Yuhui was in a chaotic state in the wind. I don't know why a young man in his prime suddenly turned into an old Xia. I'm clearly very handsome, right? Chen Chu passed by the school playground, pondering what Xia Yuhui had said earlier. 
It is obvious that Xia Yuhui noticed that he forcefully carried his qi and blood in the afternoon, and after practicing, he was clearly weak, so he waited for him outside. Although they have only been together for a few days, the two of them are very compatible and have some understanding of each other's situation. For example, Xia Yuhui knew that he seemed to be unfamiliar with many common knowledge of cultivation, so he came specifically to remind him to avoid being too eager to practice and damaging his body. At the same time, tell him that if he really wants to accelerate the cultivation progress, he can purchase some resources to supplement his qi and blood. It's just a pity that Chin Chu doesn't have the money. And even if he doesn't need resources, he still has confidence to build a foundation within a month of practicing step by step according to the current progress. However, Chin Chu took note of this kindness and treated this guy as a true friend, and his nickname changed from Xia classmate to Lao Xia. There's no way, who said this guy looks mature. After 5 o'clock, Chen Chu returned home with two shopping bags and first brought a large plate of fish and meat upstairs. In the fish tank, the hexagonal salamander, which had grown to 22 centimeters, looked up at a piece of fish meat falling from the sky and bit it with its mouth open. The taste buds of salamanders are different from those of humans. Chen Chu's consciousness can feel that after the fish meat enters his mouth, a delicate and tender taste comes in, delicious okay, it's the taste buds of salamanders that taste delicious. Normal people only taste fishy and cold when eating this frozen raw fish. After finishing a large plate of fish, the salamander's body swelled to 24 centimeters long, and its head was already the size of an egg, more than doubling from a few days ago. It's almost there. After looking at the accumulated evolution value of seven points, Chen Chu nodded with satisfaction. Brother, I'm back. After one past six o'clock, Chen Hu ran into the house with a backpack on his back, sweating profusely. It was obvious that he had been fighting with his friends on the way. I'm back now. Chen Chu too, who was stir-frying in the kitchen, didn't reply, go wash your hands yourself and help arrange the dishes and utensils. Good luck. Chen Hu threw his backpack onto the sofa and washed his hands before coming to the kitchen to help. Holding a bowl and chopsticks, Chen Hu approached Chen Chu curiously and said, Brother, you've been practicing for two days. How do you feel? Have you become very powerful? Chen Chu gave him a sidelong glance and couldn't help but say, Do you think I'm practicing immortal techniques? I can fly to heaven and escape to the earth in just two days. Hee <laughs> hee, don't they all say that Chen Wu is very powerful? Chen Hu chuckled. I don't know if it's due to the fusion of memories, but Chen Chu didn't need to disguise himself and naturally integrated into this family. I just feel a bit uncomfortable with the sudden addition of a mother. After all, he was already in his twenties before his rebirth. At 6.30, when Chen Chu's food was ready, Zhang Xiaolan also came back from work. At the dinner table, she cared about Chen Chu's learning progress and whether she was suitable for school. After 7 p.m., Chen Chu sat on the bed after taking a shower, preparing to practice. At this moment, there was a knocking on the door outside, followed by Zhang Xiaolan's voice, A Chu, have you slept? No. Then Zhang Xiaolan pushed open the door and walked in with a bank card in her hand. Chen Chu looked at her in confusion and said, Mom, what's up? Looking at her son sitting cross-legged, ready to practice, Zhang Xiaolan said gently, Today at work, Sister Wang told me about the need to replenish qi and blood after starting practicing true martial arts in high school. A few years ago, when Wang's son entered the first year of high school, he bought a qi and blood resource called Sword Tiger Cream. It was said that the effect was very good after eating it, but unfortunately it was a bit expensive. Her son also had no talent for cultivation, so in the end, he still studied cultural subjects. As she spoke, Zhang Xiaolan handed the card to Chen Chu and said, I'm not very familiar with these things either. I can't help you much in cultivation. But there should also be classmates in your class eating these, you can go ask them which one is better. The day after tomorrow is Saturday, and there is over 90,000 in this card. 
The password is for your birthday. If you need it, go buy it and eat it. Looking at the bank card handed over, Chen Chu remained slightly silent. This money should be all the savings that Zhang Xiaolan has saved over the years. Mom, I don't need it. Chen Chu shook his head slightly and pushed the card back. Today, a classmate also told me about qi and blood resources, but I don't need them. No need. Zhang Xiaolan wondered. Chen Chu nodded and said, there are only two situations where qi and blood resources are needed to supplement qi and blood. One is when the talent is not good and qi and blood resources are needed to make up for the foundation. Another way is to have good talent, replenishing qi and blood is to accelerate the cultivation progress, build a foundation step by step before others, and want to be ahead step by step. My situation is that I have some cultivation talents, but not geniuses, so I just need to practice step by step and there is no need to compete with others. Achu, are you sure you don't need qi and blood resources? Don't be heartbroken about the money. If you feel that this amount of money is not enough, mom can borrow some from sister Wang and the others. Zhang Xiaolan hesitated, after all, she knew that her son's physical condition had always been poor. Chen Chu's heart was slightly moved, but also somewhat helpless. Mom, really don't need it. Finally, under Chen Chu's persuasion, Zhang Xiaolan reluctantly believed that he really didn't need to replenish qi and blood, and walked out skeptically. Chen Chu didn't deceive her, he really didn't need it. Even if we use this 90,000 yuan, it's just half a month in advance to build the foundation. After all, after mastering the casting technique, we still need to meditate mentally to leave the lotus platform. After building the foundation, practicing true martial arts is only the beginning. Therefore, there is no need to exhaust one's wealth to seize this time. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Fusion Genes You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Fusion Genes The next day, as soon as Chen Chu arrived at the classroom and sat down, Xia Yuhui in front of him leaned in again. Achu, did you know that the top-ranked and Weiqing completed the foundation construction yesterday afternoon and has already gone to Building C to take the Zhenwu course today? So fast. Chen Chu was somewhat surprised. The foundation was built in just two days. Even if the family has money and resources, they still need exaggerated talents, as their class monitor Lin Shui knows. Xia Yuhui nodded with some envy and said, it's not just her. I've heard about the top 10 people on this list, and they will all finish building the foundation in the next few days. Including our class monitor, I heard she has already thought of the 10th petal, and her qi and blood have turned 8 times in half an hour. It is expected that she can build a foundation at most the day after tomorrow. Chen Chu immediately became curious and said, What about you, old Xia? What level of cultivation have you reached? I'm okay, okay. Xia Yuhui chuckled and complained, Ah Chu, can you stop calling me Lao Xia? I'm so handsome, you can call me Ah Hui. Chen Chu nodded and said, No problem, Lao Xia. Ah Hui, it's Ah Hui. I know, Lao Xia. Ah Chu, I want to break off friendship with you for three hours. Seeing him unrepentant, Xia Yuhui turned around fiercely and spoke to the beautiful woman at the front table. Chen Chu just smiled at this. You're just old and honest, not showing off your age. What did you call scumbag Hui to do? Do you still want to chop together? I don't know if it's because someone has already built a foundation, but during this afternoon's practice class, Chen Chu found that everyone is working hard and serious. Unfortunately, talent does exist. Some people have been practicing for three days and still stand still, some have made good progress, while others have made amazing progress. For example, Wuxiu Commissari Rui. Chen Chu didn't know how his visualization progressed, but within half an hour, he carried his qi and blood seven times in one breath and seemed to be able to handle it with ease, not doing his best. Class monitor Lin Shui, not to mention, had to move eight times in less than half an hour, 
then found a place to sit cross-legged and continue to meditate. Their mental energy is astonishing, unlike Chen Chu's meditation which takes half a day to recover. It is obvious that they also used resources similar to tonifying qi and blood, which can supplement or activate mental power. If in thought, Chen Chu transported his qi and blood twice today and didn't practice anymore. Each time it took 20 minutes, his proficiency increased by 2, and his physical attributes increased by 0.1. The cultivation progress is average, but the improvement is stable. With the sound of the school bell ringing, Chen Chu didn't sweat much today, but was a bit tired. He packed up and prepared to leave. Ah Chu, wait a moment. Xia Yuhui ran over with a thud. What's wrong? Xia Yuhui ran over and said, It's only four o'clock now. What are you doing back so early? Do you want to join the flower tea club with me? Chen Chuki looked at him strangely and said, You still have time to join the club. The class monitor is going to build a foundation. Although he didn't ask about Xia Yuhui's family, Chen Chu felt that his family should be good, at least not lacking in money, and his talent was also very good. Shouldn't he work hard to cultivate and build a foundation early now? Xia Yuhui didn't care and said, Don't worry, my brother said, the way to practice is to have a balance between relaxation and relaxation, so there's no need to pursue short. Term gains and losses too much. The class monitor has great talent, it's normal to build the foundation a few days earlier than us. It's boring not to compare with her, and... Xia Yuhui stopped talking. And he also looked behind him, as if afraid that Lin Shui would suddenly appear again, making Chen Chu feel a bit amused. Faced with Chen Chu's strange gaze, Xia Yuhui shifted the topic and said, Ah Chu, don't you think cultivation is too boring? It's better to look at beautiful women and relax your mind. Let me tell you, after my research and observation in the past few days, the beauty in the Flower Tea Society ranks first in terms of appearance in Wuhan High School, and there are many high dot quality beauties inside. Not to mention the beautiful senior sisters in the second and third year of high school, there are also many beautiful girls like us who are in the first year of high school. Think about it, in the scorching summer, sitting with a group of young and beautiful girls drinking tea and chatting, isn't it very comfortable and enjoyable? Xia Yuhui seemed to have thought of the scene of himself surrounded by a group of flowers, his face full of intoxication, so he did not see Chen Chu as strange gaze. Achu, what do you think? Cough. Chen Chu coughed and said, Your proposal is good, but I need to go back early if I have something to do. You can go alone. By the way, look back. After speaking, Chen Chu patted Xia Yohui's shoulder and nodded slightly to the girl behind him who was holding her breasts with both hands, then turned around and left. Behind me. Xia Yuhui was startled and suddenly turned around, only to see Lin Shui give him a dull glance, leaving behind disgusting and passing by. Xia Yuhui is a bit confused. He didn't speak ill of Lin Shui this time, did he? Why is it disgusting? The next morning, Chen Hu looked upstairs and shouted loudly, Brother, I went out to play with my friends and won't come back for lunch. Chen Chu's voice came from above. Go ahead. There is no class today Saturday, but Zhang Xiaolan has to work overtime and is not at home. In the room, a hexagonal salamander that has grown to 28 centimeters long is lying on the desk. The salamander has a wide and flat head, with a white body that appears pink and tender, and a white tail resembling a tadpole trailing behind it. With those dripping black eyes and three pairs of red feather-shaped antennae spreading backwards behind the left and right cheeks, lying on the ground with all four limbs, it looks a bit silly and cute. At this point, the evolution value of the clone has accumulated to nine points, and the body size is close to the species limit. I saw the salamander nibbling at each piece of fish, its fine teeth chewing and making a clicking sound. On the side, Chen Chu leaned against a chair, with his elbows resting on the table and his palms resting on his chin in a daze, his consciousness sinking into another perspective. Accompanied by pieces of food entering the body, 
with the salamander's stomach as the center, faint heat flows spread throughout the body, beginning a new round of growth. While eating and digesting, the fish on the table disappeared at a visible speed to the naked eye. When two plates of food equivalent to more than twice the volume of a salamander were consumed, half an hour had passed before and after two rounds of growth, the salamander's body length reached 30 centimeters. At this moment, rows of text appeared before Chin Chu's eyes. Your salamander clone gained some evolutionary points by consuming a large amount of food. Your clone has reached the limit of biological growth and cannot continue to grow after eating. The current accumulation of evolution points has reached 10, which meets the requirements of evolution. Do you want to initiate evolution? Note that the potential of this clone is low, and it does not greatly benefit the host's combat power after evolution. You can choose to absorb a biological gene to enhance the potential when starting evolution. Upon seeing the note at the back, Chen Chu suddenly sat up straight with a surprise on his face. Absorbing other biological genes to enhance potential. Chen Chu has always been concerned about the issue of salamander clones being too weak. Although it is possible to break through biological limits through evolution, what if it reaches a length of 1 meter or 10 meters? Still flesh and blood, can you withstand bullets? When the time comes, let alone combat effectiveness, it will be difficult for those weak limbs to support their massive body and run faster. But now, end of this chapter.